let's say you're working with an illustration and as we did we had a specific color marker that worked very well for the color we were trying to achieve um, and then halfway through your rendering you ran out of that color marker this happens more often than you think it might uh, here's just again using our mixing technique uh, what I have here is I have a couple of uh, different browns so I had a lot of crimson red this is our original color Tuscan red I have crimson red I have sienna brown and I have dark brown so what I'm gonna do is this I'm gonna take a uh, cool gray 10% cool gray I'm gonna grab some crimson and some sienna look at that it gets pretty close to the color you're looking for now if I only did crimson it'd be too bright so mixing the crimson with the sienna and let me try just the dark brown now so I'll mix sienna I'm sorry mix dark brown with crimson red well it's a little well it's not bad it's a little darker than I want but it's pretty close so I think we can work with uh, probably the crimson and the sienna and that gives us a similar color to the Tuscan red now what we're gonna do is just go ahead and we're gonna illustrate this piece uh, using our mixing technique I'm gonna grab some red alright we're gonna illustrate part of this piece using our mixing technique and I'll start over here on the dark side Remember, the first couple of strokes are pure color, and then the following strokes fade the color out. So there we go. So we have something that looks similar. And then what you would want to do is if you did have to mix colors, um, you go in with some of that mixed color over on your other pieces. Just again, kind of artistically, throw a couple of strokes here and there. Once it's rendered, uh, those strokes aren't going to show up, but that color will show up. And then we can make sure that you've got good distribution of color. Okay, so we would again continue working by um, picking up the color and moving it over. So that was uh, just using a brown and a red to get a darker red color. Now, there is a third method for blending color as well using marker. And again, let me just kind of. clean off this tip a little bit so, so you don't think I'm cheating. You could also try mixing pencils. Um, you could use Prismacolor pencils. The best pencils to use for mixing colors really are water soluble pencils. So uh, what I'm going to do is I've got a red and I'm just going to see how the red works here. It's not too bad. Okay, it's not too bad of a red. Um, and then I have a brown. And that kind of gives us our, our Tuscan red color. So what I'm going to do is let me just do uh, this cushion. I'm go in with the red, and I'm just going to scrub in some red. Might as well do a large area here. Let's see how it works. And I'm not going to try to fill the page. I'm not going to fill the uh, boxes with color. Gonna throw some red down. All right, now I'm going to take a little bit of the brown. 
put some brown over it. And these are Prismacolor pencils that I'm using right now. Okay, now if you have a clear blender that has a uh, lot of fluid in it, that would work great. If not, a cool gray would work. And what you can do is the fluid in the marker dissolves the pencil. So you do get a slightly different texture, you can't help that, but the fluid in the marker simply dissolves the wax and the pigment blends them together so you can create just about any color imaginable using um, pencil first and then applying marker over the pencil. Now it does, it is a little different because it's not as transparent as the regular marker, but again, Pick up a little bit of that pencil, bring it over to your other pieces. Then aside from using a light gray marker to blend the color, and again, I want to clean off my marker so that next time I need it, it's ready to go. Uh, you could also use some other gray tones. So for example, I want to see some more, some darker areas under here. So I could pull in some gray marker. And also go back in with a little bit of dark gray. And in this case, I want to go ahead and sharpen my line. Alright, so there's a couple different techniques for applying color, and as you can see by looking at this, I mean, these are very similar color reds, um, and what we did is we created this side mixing two different markers to create the color. Uh, we used pencil on this, and then this is actually a marker color. Now, to even everything out, since we have some of this pencil on these cushions, what we want to do is do the same thing, let's just carry that over. And we don't have to do it all over the place, but we just want, again, that color and that same kind of texture. And a little bit of that brown. And you're hardly gonna notice anything. Because I only did it in a few spots. And we'll take our uh, cool gray just kind of blend this. So then we have a similar texture and appearance on all the pieces. Alright, so there's some basic techniques.